All right, guys. Uh, so I wanted to do a quick uh, NOE pop-up attack, just training video. Uh, so pretty much what we'll do is we'll do a ramp start. I'll talk through most of everything that I'm going through through the startup procedures, and then uh, we'll take a look at the uh, flight plan that I have set up here, and uh, we'll talk about why um, we're doing things the way that we are doing it. A single ship op couldn't get anybody to fly with me at 4:30 in the morning, so. Um, here we are. Anyways, uh, we're taking off at a Kunsan. We're a single ship Block 50 uh, F-16, and uh, currently going to be heading up to the Kodar Range, which is uh, a fairly good distance, probably about 150 miles uh, to the northeast. Um, we'll go at a medium altitude ingress uh, to steer three from steer three. We'll hit steer four at about uh, 200 to 300 feet AGL. Uh, hug the valleys into the uh, the riverway here, and we'll pop up at steer 10 uh, over the terrain, strike at steer 11, and then uh, egress out at steer 12. We'll float to the west, and then uh, there should be a tanker setting up a track uh, pretty much on, along our uh, flight, path, flight path out. Uh, so we'll be hitting him on the way back as we're going to be using a lot of gas getting uh, to and from said location. I haven't plotted any threats, uh, but we're going to go ahead and add a couple of simulated threats here just so we can practice our uh, threat evasion. Uh, so we'll add a single SA-2 uh, to the north just outside of the uh, threat ring. Uh, the Kodar range will be outside of the threat ring. Basically that'll simulate us uh, trying to stay outside of the threat engagement envelope of the uh, of the SA-2. Um, we'll just plan on one more along the coast here and that pretty much forces us to uh, simulate that we're we're basically evading this radar space. Now the the threat ADR, uh, ADA radar space will actually exit outside the SA-2 threat ring. Uh, but for technique and practice, we're just going to plot it for uh, this location and use it as a visual reference for our, uh, our what we would call be no line or be no further line. So this will be our uh, our horizontal and lateral axis right here on where we don't want to follow through. Uh, after the egress, all bets are off, so we'll be flowing to the west anyways, and, and our attack is complete. Uh, this attack profile is pretty much the same type of profile that you're going to see uh, for Operation Opera, which is exactly what the Israelis did uh, to bomb a nuclear reactor, uh, which is one of my favorite raids of all time with the F-16. Um, let's take a look at the loadout here. Got a couple of, uh, and it's lagging because I've got it on full screen with OBS, um, but we have a single uh, F-16 single ship. Uh, loaded out completely with what you would really consider a realistic lo air to air loadout um, would be maybe an AIM-9X for short range and then three AIM-9 uh, AIM-120s. Um, at least that's our SOP. And then two low drag penetrators. We could use standoff weapons and GPS and laser guided bombs, but that kind of defeats the purpose and the fun. Uh, so we'll be going with a specific loadout today. Uh, the reason why we're using low drag penetrators uh, is because we want to basically use a delayed fusing to hit a hardened target, i.e. a nuclear reactor or a bunker of some sort. Um, go and load up a targeting pod. I'm not going to really use it, but it's it'll be there so we can uh, get visual on the tanker on our way back. It should be about a, a dusk takeoff, or dawn takeoff rather, sorry. And then uh, we should be getting on target right around sunrise. If, uh, if everything looks good. Um, and that's pretty much it. The takeoff will be a max takeoff for us pretty much right at about uh, 40,000 pounds, which isn't the max takeoff, but it's about where I'd be comfortable uh, with 2,000 pound bombs under the wings. Um, standard jamming suite. Okay, let's go take a look at the, the target area real quick. I uh, forgot to do that while we we're looking up the, um, the threats. Hopefully it doesn't break OBS. If it does, I'll see you guys in the pit. And it's taking a second here, which is a 4.33 uh, simism. Okay, and so it's loaded. Uh, our simulated target is going to be pretty much center mass. Uh, if you see this guy up to the top right here, 
Uh, this will be our run in. I'll switch from CCRP for the nav into CCIP, and then we'll aim for the uh, the second uh, point there. Pretty much uh, going to be using a visual reference. Hopefully, I can get it to load the target. This should be target vertical target two. Yeah, so we're going to be uh, using crater center. Okay, so we'll uh, set it to target steer 15, which will be this guy. Actually, we have more than 15 steer points, I believe. We'll set it to target steer uh, 20. load up the data cartridge for the tower which is uniform 15 so tower 2923 um, everything else looks good so I'll see you guys in a pit in a minute for the startup okay welcome back we're at steer 3 now shaved off about uh, 15 minutes of flight time with the magic of movie magic uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go flight idle. Altitude. Altitude. And we're going to go and set for steer 4, which should be about uh, our 10 o'clock position. I'm sorry, our 2 o'clock position. At this point I know that we're going to our target steer, so if you look at the right HSD, we're setting our steer point. Steer point 20, which is our target steer. Altitude. Altitude. Be doing some nap of the earth flying. And I'll be transitioning back to the radar altimeter. Once we get to our final steer point, I'll go and master arm on. We'll be doing primary air to ground nav. HST. We'll speed it up to five hundred knots. Altitude. Altitude. Two. So what we're doing right now is we're setting our primary nav to um, a primary nav with the HSD. Uh, what is it? GMT. Is it GM? Realistically, it's a known target. We wouldn't be using the radar to fixate. Um, but what we can do is follow this river all the way to our target steer. And that would take us all the way. I think it splits in a Y, so we'll just follow the flight plan. Not bad. Going back on my own areas here. There's the big river. That's what we're looking for. I don't think the people of South Korea would really appreciate this in real life at 7 in the morning. A little bit of shaking with overspeed. You can actually see the bomb oscillation there. Looks like horse adjustment about 20 degrees Altitude. Left. Altitude. Let's check 8.7 fuel, plenty of gas to make it back home if we had to board now. Throttle set, checking left, steer 5. Altitude, 
altitude. As you can see, that some of the models here are imperfect, but nobody to blame because it's a free mod, free sim. Fast correcting. Going flip on the master arm on now. Be checking left here now. Four G turn following the river. Alright, that should be your attack axis if we're on final. Uh, but we're evading radar. 200 feet. Altitude. So. Altitude. Windows just kicked me off for a second there, sorry. Altitude. Altitude. Alright, so now we're just following this river all the way in. So the theory is, is that we're using the terrain to mask our radar signature on a sneak attack. Uh, for the enemy pop-up uh, profile, we'll climb to 3000 AGL, to roll over, pickle bombs. And uh, like an idiot, I completely forgot to set the timings on that. We'll set profile to pair. Uh, course uh, correction here. Usually you would do this if you weren't an idiot prior to takeoff. Set a one second delay, or one second arming. Looks good. Uh, yeah, so flying at 500 knots at 500 feet or lower, you don't want to be looking inside the cockpit. Alright, the uh, flight plan shows us turning left to hard left here. We'll make the turn right now. believe this is a hard left off of the river. Altitude. Altitude. All right, we're good. Fast correcting. Five point six miles to the target. 
Should be turning on final attack heading now. Master Arm is on. Smith looks good in pairs. Back to the HSD turning right. Slight right hand turn, bring down the map display. Target fall line, there we go. On final attack heading now. Yeah, that's not look right. That, however, does. All right, we're popping up. Chaff flare. Altitude. Altitude. Miles away. Miles away. Chaff flare. Good splash center mass. Threat evasion, quick reaction, looks good. Let's get the hell out of here. So by now they would know that we're here. We're gonna go and bust her up and climb to altitude. And switch over primary air to air. Safe it up. Contact. Only need six thousand. Caution. Caution. 